But if you guys see this is an obscene amount of food. This is how I lost 70 pounds, was eating till I was full and satisfied, is that this enormous plate of food only has 365 calories. Is that even a large portion or isn't it? In this video, we are going to talk about this high carb, whole food dinner proposed by Plentiful Kiki. Let's say, if you can spot, what's the problem with this meal? Hello, I'm Janina Vlad, the founder of LeanOnCarbs.com. I've lost 50 pounds without calorie restrictions. Yes, following a high carb, whole food, plant-based vegan diet with lots of fruits, vegetables, tubers, so lots of potatoes, whole grains and legumes, but without small portions, without hunger, without cravings, without binges, without caffeine, and without crazy exercise. And my goal with this channel is to help you do the same, because you can live as well this food freedom. We are not supposed to restrict, we are not supposed to eat small portions. We are supposed to eat to reach satiety from the right sources of the calories. And in this video, I will share with you a chart and you can spot the food groups that you are allowed to eat to reach satiety with fewer calories, because they are high in fiber and water and low in fats. Now to the video. Before going to the actual potato dinner created by Plentiful Kiki and sharing my thoughts and criticism, let me tell you that I love potatoes. And yes, I had lots of potatoes for dinner while losing weight and for the past three years while maintaining my low healthy BMI, yes, I still have lots of potatoes for dinner. And in a future video, I will show how much potatoes I eat for dinner and I am lean and not, I'm not uh, gaining weight. And I believe potatoes are such an amazing comfort food for everybody. I don't know anybody who doesn't love to eat potatoes. Besides that, I have to tell you that I love Plentiful Kiki and I'm forever grateful to her channel. Why is that? You see, in 2020, when I was already high carb, plant-based, vegan and high fruit and high on potatoes, I was also overweight and confused and not knowing why not understanding what my problem was. She introduced me to the calorie density in foods. From her channel, I found out about Dr. Doug Lyle's work, about Pleasure Trap, about Dr. Jeff Novick, and this theory, the calorie density in foods. More about this a little bit later in the video. But from that moment, from that week, I started losing weight. It was amazing. So I was, like I said, already high on carbs, high on tubers and fruits, but I was eating a lot of dense, more uh, high in calorie density foods like bread and pasta and cookies and uh, sugar and avocados <laughs> and nuts and seeds. But I already mentioned in this video, please go to watch it, the foods I got rid in 2020 when I started finally losing weight without calorie deficit. Okay, no more talking Janina, let's go to Kiki's video and let's Hear her advice on losing weight while eating tons of potatoes. Form recipe video for you guys, so I thought I would do one today. Let's My keep plan was to put on a nice shirt for you. You guys know that I have been on a raw food. So delicious. I've made them really bad for you french fries that are like battered and then fried Mine. that are. So delicious. These give the same vibes without, you know, being fried, which is fantastic. But what I showed on my get a little out of control with these fries. They're so good. They don't taste like garlic bread, French fries that are baked, not fried. So I'm showing you guys how to make those. My trick is to make them really crispy and kind of like coated. You know, those like really bad for you French fries that are like battered and then fried. They're so delicious. These give the same vibes without, you know, being fried, which is fantastic. But what I showed on my Instagram was how much of these fries you can eat for so few calories. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like, and I'll go over how to put that into a 50-50 plate if you're using the quick building method that I teach you guys for weight loss. Okay, so first things first, I wash and scrub my potatoes. So now I'm just gonna slice them. You can slice them thick, thin, whatever you want. I'm gonna make them thin because I like them to get extra coated and crispy. Two potatoes, only two potatoes. Coated and crispy. Guys, when I was on my 70 pound weight loss journey, I ate tons and tons of potatoes because they're so low in calorie density and they're super filling. Scientifically, they've been shown to be the most filling and satiating food on the planet. So it made sense for me to eat a lot of potatoes because they were going to be filling and satisfying and super low in calories. So long as you're not, you know, frying them and coating them in butter and oil and covering them in cheese. If you use my cheese sauce, like that's great because that's low fat and it's plant based. But you can absolutely eat lots of potatoes and lose weight. And a question I get She only cut it two medium potatoes. And that is not tons of potatoes. She said you can eat a lot of potatoes, but two potatoes, two medium potatoes is not a lot. It's like lying in our face. 
is not a lot. To, to medium potatoes is not a portion, it's not a normal portion for an adult. And yes, she's right, potatoes are very filling and give you satiety. But you have to eat more than two potatoes. Maybe she adds more. Let's see. A lot is what kind of potatoes do I use? And I always use yukon potatoes for everything. I don't think I buy any other kind of potato for anything, really, because yukon to me are just like the creamiest and most buttery of the potatoes. But you can use whatever potatoes you like. I like yukon So I'm going to use my kitchen scale to weigh out about 300 calories worth of potatoes so you can see just how many potatoes that is. I didn't count calories. 300 calories of potatoes worth? 300 calories? Is this a joke? 300 calories is like a snack worth of calories. It is not enough calories for a meal. 300 calories is my seven years daughter and she's a normal weight for her age. Meal, 300 calories worth of potatoes. is not for an adult, an active woman. I use the principles of calorie density, like I teach you guys on my channel and in my book, Playful Lean, that I know most of you guys have, but I also know that a lot of you guys still like to track calories and be mindful of that, so I want to show you what 300 calories of potatoes look like. Okay, so I've added 394. Thank you so much, Kiki. Now we know how much 300 calories of potatoes look like. Yeah, it's two potatoes. <laughs> I, I don't feel like that's a lot of food. If you, are, if you want to imply that, oh my God, there is an abundance of food, oh my God, how much volume and weight we have. Uh, I don't know, it's like you want to trick us to believe into believing that that's a lot of food, but it's only 400 grams of uncooked potatoes. After cooking and air frying, especially air frying, you will evaporate the water. So you will, you will have a lot less, around 300 grams. So it's not even, <laughs> it's not even a pound of potatoes, come on. Four grams of potatoes raw with the scan on into the micronometer here. And as you can see, it comes out to about 300 calories and it was two medium sized potatoes and it fills this bowl. It's a good amount of potatoes. So this right here is the 300 calories. No, Kiki, I'm sorry. That's not a good amount of potatoes. Come on. We have to wake up and to understand that we need more volume. We need more food. We need more calories. 300 calories are not enough. With 300 calories, what happened next, you will binge. You won't stay on track. You will eat the cookies. You will crave the pizza and the donuts. And you will go ex-vegan because you will crave the cheese and the bacon and you will say, oh my God, how plants are insufficient and how amazing it is to eat salmon and eggs. Yes, because you didn't eat enough food. You didn't eat enough calories. This won't fill your stomach. Come on, what kind of stomach do you have, Kiki? I believe some people, yes, have a small capacity. I don't know, maybe is her case. But I don't know a person like this. Uh, only my husband that has an operation on his stomach and he, yes, cannot take in the quantities I eat. But people around me eat more than 300, cal 300 calories, yes, 300 grams. Yes, with the veggies aside, let's see uh, how much the veggies will, will weigh. But those 300 grams won't fill you up. Try it for yourself. Try it and you will tell me. Please, you'll tell me in the comments if that filled you up. If you felt satiety for hours after eating only 300 grams and 300 calories of fried potatoes. Vegetables, just how I show you to do with your 50-50 plate, you are going to be so full and satisfied. You're not going to be, you know, snacking 15 minutes later. I totally forgot. You are not going to snacking 15 minutes later because you will go into snack 30 minutes later. In 2020, after finding about this uh, calorie intensity that can be applied wrong, Yes, by focusing on non-starchy vegetables uh, to fill you up, to have the volumes, to dilute the overall calories of the meal. Yes, you can use it wrong and you can perpetuate the same wrong idea of calorie deficit and portion control. Uh, but for a week, I didn't want it for a week. I wanted for more because I wanted to speed up my weight loss results. After seeing that the theories was working, I wanted to speed it up. And I follow her advice, and not only her advice, but uh, also McDougal maximum weight loss advice with 50-50 plates. And let me tell you, I was craving, <laughs> craving bananas. I was craving tofu and seitan. I was craving bread. I was craving cookies. 
uh, that wasn't for me. And I believe it's not for many people. Only a few minority will uh, be successful and eating lower calorie than they need to be in deficit for longer. Maybe is her case. For the rest, yes, the rest may be lying. Maybe uh, they are eating and craving and indulging and binging on uh, junk later on. Or maybe they are taking appetite suppressants and they are not openly about it. Caffeine, coffee, and teas and pills. There are ways, natural ways, including spiruline, to cut down uh, hunger, to save on calories, to, yes, minimize the impact of your hunger and appetite. We have to boil them first. They're not ready to season yet. We have boil them first, and I think this is important. You can use leftover potatoes from your fridge as well if that's what you have. Please refresh them and boil them first. But cooking them first and getting them kind of soft is going to help us when we shake them up and season them up to get them nice and crispy. I'm going to get my potatoes into the water. All right, so we want the fries to be soft, but not falling apart. So they are perfect right now, so I'm going to go ahead and drain them. All right, so now I'm going to put my potatoes back into the pot because I'm going to put the lid on and shake these up. If your pot's too hot, just find another container with a lid that you can put it in. I just ran my fingers in cold water to cool it down. Okay, so the only seasonings I'm going to use are onion powder, garlic powder, and garlic salt. You guys know me, I love my garlic salt. But the secret ingredient that I'm going to use today to get these nice and crispy and coated is cornstarch, and tapioca starch works just as well. If you're someone who avoids corn or is allergic, you can use tapioca starch. I'm going to add two tablespoons of cornstarch to the potatoes in here. Uh, okay. Cornstarch is a highly processed product. It's only one molecule from the plant, from thousands of molecules in that corn. Yes, they ditched everything and you get only the starch, only uh, these complex carbohydrates. And you cannot <laughs> go more refined than that. So, yeah, I advise you against using cornstarch to make this dish. I will share for sure in a future video how I make these potatoes and they are equally delicious. And you, of course, you can train your taste buds. We are not, guys, we are not the slaves of our taste buds. You have to understand this. You have to understand this. There are millions of ways to increase the taste of a dish. Of course there are. And she is using different ways of increasing the richness of flavors in that dish including cornstarch and salt. Cornstarch adds calories without increasing satiety. If you want to lose weight, you have to ditch cornstarch. But are you going to increase the quality of that food? No, only the taste. Actually, the health score of a food goes down in indirect correlation with its taste. The more tasty it is, the less healthy and the more dangerous, more calories Third bite will be because when you add this molecule without having the water and the fiber that were naturally present in the, in the plant in the corn in this case you will add a lot of calories with very small volumes that won't give you satiety won't uh, make you stop before <laughs> so you will add those calories with no extra sensation of fullness and this really helps give them a really delicious, crispy, battered like texture. I don't know, it's magic. So then I'm gonna add like a half a teaspoon. Of I know, it's magic. <laughs> there are millions of ways to add magic to plants, but are those ways healthy? It's magic, yes, it's crispy, yes, it's delicious, yes, but do we need it? We don't. If we want to learn to eat healthy, come on. Can we ditch those refined products? They're not even foods. This corn starch, this powder, oh my God, it's so easily absorbable in our bloodstream. We don't need refined products, refined starch or refined fats in the form of oils. Um, onion powder. And if all of this is like too much flavor, just come back. I love garlic. So I'm going to add a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then I'm going to go in some I love garlic as well. Okay, so your potatoes are going to look like this. So now I'm going to put the lid on and shake them up. All right, time to shake. You bet handle this open a lot. <laughs> She's so fun. Vigorously <laughs> to wrap them up. Help give them that texture. I love her. All right, so this is what they look like now. Okay, so I have my parchment lined baking sheet. You don't have to line yours if you don't want, but I don't like to do dishes. So if it's one less thing I have to clean, I'm going to line up some parchment paper. And I'll not stick. So you do you. So you want to get it out, get out all those crispy bits. They're in the pot. You want all of it. And then make sure they're spread out nicely. And if you have an air fryer, you can air fry these at 400 or 425 or 15 to 20 minutes until they get as crispy as you want. I don't have an air fryer anymore because it broke when we moved and I just never replaced it because I don't feel like I need it. And my kitchen is so small. Like, this is it. This is what you're seeing all of my kitchen here in my little cabin. Now, this next part is totally optional. I'm going to give them a very light spray with my avocado oil here. Just Even now, looking 
at the tray with uh, all the potatoes spread. Do you feel like they are a lot? Now with all the air in between them, because they are so tiny and uh, thin, you can understand that that portion is small. It's not enough. Because I want to help them kind of crisp up without looking or feeling dry. You can totally, totally skip this step. As long as you're not heavy-handed, not adding any health-altering amounts. Regarding oil, like I said previously with the cornstarch, uh, the same but double the problem because oil uh, is 100% fat, it's a liquid fat that is metabolized differently on our body, it's directly stored. We cannot um, use the fats for energy in our body when we have carbs. And the idea is to have carbs, not to go in ketosis. That is a dangerous way to live your life. That's a dangerous diet. So the fats you eat go to the storage. They don't go to create ATP, adenosine triphosphate, to give you energy in the cells. In the mitochondria, the best fuel, the cleanest fuel, are carbs, not fat. Uh, yes, she didn't use a lot, but we will, from my experience and the experience uh, of the people I see around me, it's very easy to go a little bit more and a little bit heavier <laughs> with with well it's a slippery slope it's better the total abstinence than uh, moderation yes having a spray is helpful and for sure when you make the transition from french fries yes this is a lot healthier and a lot less well and of course i encourage that but you can create this recipe without a well and will be tasty uh, when I uh, find out about making potatoes in this style, of course, without oil and without the starch, back in 2014 from uh, Freely Banana Girl, I was mesmerized. I said, why I didn't know already? I didn't know, uh, I didn't know until this age about this nice recipe and all my life, all my teens, well, my 20s. Uh, craving french fries and not knowing that I can indulge in a lot of potatoes without the guilt, without the extra oil. I will, we will share at the end of the video the chart with the calorie density to see the difference in between potatoes, baked, baked potatoes with no added oil and french fries. The difference in calories per 100 gram. Of course, she's not frying over here, but she's adding some calories we don't actually need. Yes, taste-wise, it's better with oil. We, we all know that. Uh, we all know that adding oil to our dishes, yes, adds up in this taste value, but it brings the health value down. And um, other thing than that, I was saying that uh, comparing with other refined products, like refined carbs in the form of sugar or that starch, oils... So liquid fats are more than double the calories. Every gram of oil is almost nine calories, 8.7. Every gram of pure carbs, like sugar and starches, yes, are four grams. So uh, people are saying that sugars and flour and bread are making the society obese. No, 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 this as well, but the main culprit, are the fats, the oil, the margarines, the lard, and the butter, and the ghee. And those are more condensed in calories per every gram. In my opinion. So now I'm just going to pop it in the oven at 425 or 15 to 20 minutes or until there is crispy as I would like. I'm sorry that my oven is so loud. I feel like I'm shouting in the camera. It's so loud. My oven is loud as well. Ooh, they are. Come on. Guys, I am the only one <laughs> who is sad about this uh, small amount, this portion. Yes. They look crispy, they, they look nice, but to me, they look sad and tiny and phew. It's just, it's like uh, barely touching the surface of my hunger. Come on, it's only me over here? Crispy. Look at this enormous sack of potatoes, guys. <laughs> come on, <laughs> come on, come on. That is not an enormous stack of potatoes. In what world do you live in? That's a normal stack of potatoes for a kid, not for an adult. 
Of course, this girl is calorie restricting and comparing with small portions from the standard diet. Yeah, these 300 grams of potatoes may seem more, of course, comparing with uh, some chicken nuggets. Let's say that will be 100 grams or less, not less, less than 100 grams for the same calories. Uh, but we know better. We don't have to compare with a standard way of eating and that it's based on unhealthy foods, animal products and refined uh, plant-based foods. Yes, we, we based our nutrition, our diet on fruits and vegetables, tubers, whole grains and legumes. And when we have this, we can have bigger portions. We don't have to restrict portions. We don't have to restrict calories. We don't have to pursue a deficit in order to lose weight. I already created the video. Please go to watch it after finishing this one about why this food and this diet promotes weight loss without going in deficit. Because I did it. A lot of people um, are successful in this as well. And you will understand the mechanics of it. Actually, losing weight by going in deficit, it's a weight gain promoter long term because you will slow down your metabolism and you won't you won't be able to sustain the level of the deficit for long the cravings will come will hit you hard will start you will start binging and now with the metabolism down you will put on weight fast come on so in the house it smells like i make garlic bread look at that look at that crispy and you can see they're like Yes, yes, small mice, everything, <laughs> everything uh, with oil and carbs together smells nice and uh, with garlic and other spices and herbs, of course, they smell nice. Coated and crispy and so good. It's so simple. That is not too much garlic. That is the perfect amount of garlic. Oh my gosh. Mmm, so good. And I just did these in ketchup, guys. Just like the Heinz organic ketchup. I don't make them in ketchup. I'm not that awesome. These are so good. Now, if you want to make the 50-50 place so that you have a complete meal for your weight loss training, all you want to do is scooch them over to half of your plate. It's a lot of potatoes and taking up more than half my plate, which you get the idea. You're not weighing or measuring anything. You're just dividing your plate in half. I've got lots of videos on this. If you have my blog, I explain everything in there. But you basically fill half your plate with your starch and then the other half of the plate with your non-starchy vegetable of choice. So I've got some asparagus that's steaming over there. So I'm going to add that to the other half of my plate. So you can see, I mean, this is an enormous amount of food. This is like an 11-inch dinner plate. Uh, it's cringe, Kiki. Please stop saying that this is an enormous, an, uh, enormous uh, food, enormous uh, portion of food. That is not. That's simply not. Just more like a platter than a dinner plate. Most dinner plates are like So I'm gonna add the veggies, and you're gonna see just how much food this is. Mm, glorious asparagus. Here you have it, guys. This amount of asparagus is only 65 calories. I like to add lemon juice, some garlic. Hmm. She's about, yes, about uh, calories all the time. I am about calories and I'm actually encouraging you to count your calories, but in the other way, to make sure you eat enough. Because if you eat only 400 calories for dinner, as Kiki recommends over here, you will crave and you will binge. You will binge big time. And you have, you will have to uh, be disciplined and your days will require large amounts of willpower to stop thinking about food. Stop thinking about that ice cream or that donut and that uh, muffin. Garlic salt and some of my almond or cashew parmesan that I made and it's so good that way. <laughs> you guys see this is an obscene. Not even 400 calories, it's 365 calories. Yeah, that this reminds me of my 20s when I was very proud of myself when succeeding to eat uh, 300 calories or 400 calories for a meal. Uh, but yes, those times were sad because while succeeding to lose weight with this kind of diet, I was never able to sustain, to sustain, to sustain those <laughs> results. I was lean for a few weeks before putting on weight because cravings were very high. I was binging after eating for a few weeks this level of uh, intake, small intake amount of food. This is how I lost 70 pounds of eating, so I was full and satisfied. Now, I am a lot here. A lot of you guys tell me that you can't eat this much food, and that's okay, so... So, I understand that people in our society believe this is a huge portion because they compare it with uh, steak and cheese, a little bit of steak and a little bit of cheese, and that's already 400 calories, and those are less than 200 grams Yes, we have over here a plate, a big plate, yes, 
I agree, it's a big plate with 600 grams of food. But those 600 grams of food are not enough. Unfortunately, we are still wrapped in this box of fearing calories. So cut down the amount of potatoes in half and cut the veggies in half and then you can heat it up later and have it later if you're hungry. But I'm a volunteer. What? I... <laughs> what? Cut those portions in half? Yes, to have them later, but cut them in half to have only 200 calories for a meal because you cannot eat more? Come on, let me know in the comments. Do you have this problem of not being able to eat uh, 600 grams of this food? I hope I'm not the only uh, wild, strange person, crazy. More at one sitting than my husband does, but for me to be successful long term, I needed to find a way that I could eat, you know, large volumes of food for less calories so that I could lose weight because all the dieting that I tried before was minimal amount. I agree. I'm in the same boat. I believe that uh, we all need to feel that uh, satisfaction with the meal from the volumes. And for me, it was true as well. I had to find a way to put in enough food to feel satisfied, to feel satiety with fewer calories. Like I said in previous episodes, when I eat only um, risotto, for example, or only roasted or baked potatoes, yes, I eat more than 1,000 calories because I am volumetric as well and I eat three pounds of food for dinner, sometimes four. That's why I have to eat my veggies first and I have to have my salads because I enjoy salads as well. They are so tasty. Not only salads, but steams, steamed vegetables as well and other ways to cook the vegetables like roasting the vegetables, not only steaming and saute in a pan to have the volume, to have the pounds of food with fewer calories. And yes, if I have a big salad like I have in my uh, What I Eat In The Day videos, I will have the volumes and I will have the calories as well. So I have around 800 calories for that dinner because I wasn't eating only potatoes for all my four pounds of food, but also I wasn't eating only a small amount of food with at the end small amount of calories. Of food, you probably have like six chicken nuggets for the same amount of calories that you have this entire plate of food. And so, for a volunteer like me, that was really important. It's like so much fiber and water and bulk in it and nutrition that you're going to stay full for hours. The craziest part about this. Are you staying full for hours after 400 calories? Uh, you are an active adult. Come on. Are you honest in it? For me, with eating according to principles of calorie density, is that this enormous plate of food only has 365 calories, which is crazy. Nowadays, I need more calories because I'm in maintenance mode. I'm not eating at a deficit to lose weight. I can see, like, you don't have to starve. <laughs> and that is why I was finally successful and able to lose all the weight. Okay, uh, over here, uh, she touched on a principle that it's completely misunderstood people believe that they have to restrict calories when they are big <laughs> so when they have a lot of pounds of body weight to feed when they are heavy they have to go in deficit to cut the supply for those pounds of food but when they lose the weight they have to eat more and it's completely the opposite when you are big you don't have to starve yourselves in order to make them uh, to melt down the fat stored, the stored fat. No, you have to feed your body, your cells, all of them. And you will lose weight by removing all the excess calories that wa was coming from your previous, uh, previous foods. And I already explained this uh, concept as the concept I've used to lo lose weight in the video over here. Please go to watch it. To understand why you don't have to cut down calories to go in deficit when you are heavy. No, you have to feed. <laughs> you feed properly from the right source of the calories because you will have fewer calories than you would normally have on normal foods. Don't forget that this society that is overweight and one in three individuals is obese obtain less than 10% of their daily calories from whole high carb low fat, low protein foods from fruits, vegetables, tubers, whole grains and legumes. An obese individual eats over 5,000 calories. When you eat like this, fruits and vegetables and potatoes and rice, you won't be able to eat 4,000 calories. It's, it's impossible because you will have so much fiber and water and you have this uh, excess calorie removed and you will lose weight. And after losing weight, you will be slimmer, you will eat less. Like I eat now less than I was 
eating when I was losing weight. It's not the other way around, because the other way around, the mainstream uh, way of eating is an eating disorder way. And if that were successful, everybody around us would be already thin. But we have this problem with obesity in a, on an uptrend. It's increasingly, it, it's growing, it's not increasing. So this calorie deficit, it's a weight gain promoter. We have to forget about it completely. Please go to watch all my videos to understand more about the correct and the sustainable way to lose weight. It is not this, these huge portions of 400, not 400, 365 calories. I need to lose and then keep it off all these years very happily. I don't feel like I'm starving, I don't feel deprived, I feel very full and satisfied. Do you not see problem making this right there? So, so I don't know about that. She said, and she, she seems honest, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if uh, I, I can believe that, that she doesn't feel deprived. She eats less than 1600 calories a day and she exercises, and she says she doesn't feel deprived. So good. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm making a bread. I would survive for an for years with just potatoes. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can relate to that. Yes, potatoes are delicious and I can survive eating only potatoes as well. But uh, there are so many other tasty and delicious whole high-carb plant-based foods besides potatoes. Okay, uh, we will leave plant fall kiki over here. It's in her style, of course. I already knew that she is calorie restricting and portion control and it's nothing new. Uh, but the idea of this video was to show you what not to do. In the next video, I will share with you the right way to eat potatoes, the right way to have uh, roasted and air fried potatoes for dinner. Now let's see this calorie density chart over here. Like I said, I was mesmerized back in 2020 when I understood why I was overweight, still overweight, because I had not only vegetables and fruits and potatoes and some legumes and some grains, but uh, mostly white grains, <laughs> refined grains, mostly uh, white rice, but I had a lot of pasta, lots of avocados, and bread over here, and nuts and seeds, and some chocolate, and peanut butter, tahini, and some oil snicked in my hummuses and other uh, plant-based spreads, and sometimes mock meats. As you can see, if you eat vegetables and fruits, doesn't matter if those fruits are sweet, they are still very low in calorie density, you can have big portions and not having too many calories. These are the calories per pound. For example, if you have one pound of uh, banana flesh, you will have 400 calories. But one pound of banana flesh won't give you satiety. So you need at least two pounds and you will have 800 calories. But let's go to meat, cheese and eggs. If you have one pound of this, let's say you have the lower, lowest in um, fat content, meat and cheese, you will have 600, 650 calories. But the majority of meats on the market are not low in fat, so you will have more. You will have over 1200 calories and you will, if you have a uh, high fat uh, meat, like in burgers and uh, high fat cheese, like uh, the very dried one, like Parmesan, you will have more calories. So if you eat two pounds on meat, eggs, and cheese, what happened? Two pounds to fill you satiety? You will have in between 1300 calories and 3600 3, calories because these are the calories per one pound. But sometimes one pound is not enough. In many, many cases, people don't feel full with only one pound of food. That's why they have to restrict because eating over 1300 calories per one meal, yes, is overeating. And that's why people are obese. That's why are so many people overweight. Because this society eats a lot of meat, eggs, and cheese. A lot of animal products. And people say banana makes you fat. Come on, that's a joke. And like I said in the previous episode, if you tell a lie, very loud and repeat it decades after decades, many times. And because you have the money to put this message very loud and noisy and very often, people will believe it. And now we have the entire society that fear fruits 
and we have over here fruits with a very low calorie density. You eat two pounds of fruits, sweet fruits, and you have less than 1,000 calories. Yes, that's, that's the best way to lose weight. Because if you eat two pounds of vegetables, let's say you eat two pounds of uh, spar spargle, like in the case of uh, Kiki, you will have in two pounds, over here it's in one pound, in two pounds you will have less than 200 grams. In two pounds you will have around 200 calories. Yes, it's two pounds of, uh, of vegetables and it will keep you full for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, but you will crave the sweetness. You will crave the donuts and the ice cream. You will crave the pizza because you don't have enough calories. You don't have enough carbs in that uh, two pounds of vegetables. That's why you don't have to focus your, um, your meals on vegetables. They are great. They are uh, very nutritious, highly nutritious vegetables. They are um, the most nutritious foods on earth the most amount of nutrition per calories and vegetables, of course. Uh, but the danger is in under eating and not eating enough calories, enough carbs, enough glucose that will make you crave later. And yes, uh, only a very strong person won't binge. But the majority of us will binge for sure. I, I know I was binging a lot when focusing on uh, a lot of vegetables on my plate. The idea is when you are vegan, when you have whole foods on your plate, you don't have to restrict portions. You don't because you have enough calories, but not an overload of calories. So you don't have to go in deficit. You don't have to go below 2000 calories of food. You don't. Maybe if you are um, old and uh, sedentary, and I don't recommend that, you have to move your body. If you are alive, it's good to move your body. Yes, maybe you won't have that much of an appetite. But the idea, if you don't want to focus on um, tracking your calories, and this is, um, and I will speak more in detail about this in the previous episode, focus on the libido. Eat to reach satiety, to feel full, and do not crave in between meals. Because if you feel full, like I said, uh, by eating uh, iceberg lettuce, that is... Uh, 14 calories per 100 grams. So you eat one kilogram of iceberg, iceberg lettuce and you will have only 140 calories. Yes, you will crave in between meals. So focus your meals on uh, uh, sweet fruits and starches. Yes, with the addition of not that sweet fruits like berries, like, I don't know, apples and vegetables. No starchy vegetables aside. To Yes, decrease if you are a volumetric like me and if you eat two pounds and if you eat three pounds, four pounds of food per meal, yes, uh, you will uh, be better diluting those overall calories with some vegetables. Like I said in previous videos uh, as well, if you eat only legumes, for example, four, four pounds of cooked legumes, you will have an overload of calories, of course, if you eat only chickpeas. But I don't recommend that. It's not healthy and it's not helping you to lose weight. If you eat a lot of food like myself, don't focus on uh, beans and lentils and chickpeas. But I hope you understand right now what's the problem. Like I said over here, the total daily weight of the food we eat tends, tends to stay the same. However, our dietary choices, so if we eat from the red zone and the orange zone, will change dramatically the calorie intake. So maybe you'll eat two pounds of food per meal. So you'll have six pounds of food per day. But if you eat those foods from meat, eggs, cheese, bread, dry fruits, French fries, junk food, chocolate, and uh, nuts, butters, nuts and seeds, margarine and butter, oil, ghee and lard, because these are in every food that is processed and packed in our grocery stores, yes, you will have a lot of overload of calories. But if you eat those six pounds of food per day from vegetables, fruits, potatoes, whole grains, and legumes, you will have enough calories to not go in deficit and to crave in between meals, but not that much calories of an intake. 
And that's why you will lose weight because you remove all the excess of the calories. And the pasta over here, you see, is not uh, that high in calorie density like bread because pasta is soaked in water. But pasta is milled, is that grain milled in million pieces. So the calories in pasta will be easily absorbed into our bloodstream. So more than the whole grain. Uh, I stay away from pasta because I'm a volumetric eater and I cannot eat only a small amount of pasta. I will eat a lot of pasta. So I will have more calories and more calories absorbed. Overweight individuals have at least 30% of their daily calories coming from the red and orange zone. And please track your calories on your current diet and see if that's the case. If uh, those foods are uh, counting for 30 percent of your daily calories and you will understand what's the cause of you not being able to lose weight and severely overweight individuals have the majority of their calories coming from uh, these animal products and processed processed foods animal products and processed plant-based foods please grab this calorie density chart and stick it on your fridge you can download it for free in a high resolution 300 dpi to make sure you can print it and put it on all your walls because you have to understand that you don't have to cut calories you don't have to eat only 300 grams of potatoes like kiki does in order to lose weight no you have to remove all the processed foods that add more calories without adding satiety and to remove all the animal products and you will be good to go. Yes, be a volumetric, but more volumes, two pounds, three pounds. And the, like I said, if you don't want to track calories, eat ad libidum to reach satiety with every meal and watch Watch your cravings. Pay attention to the signals in your bodies because if you crave in between meals, it's because you didn't eat enough calories. Maybe you had, like I said, the volumes, but you didn't have enough calories. And if you don't want to track calories, like some of you are triggered by counting uh, calories, you have to understand that you have to eat more bananas, more potatoes, more sweet potatoes than the vegetables, than... Um, the berries, then the strawberries, then the watermelon. We actually eat for fuel. And the main fuel for our species is glucose. Is glucose in these simple sugars, in monosaccharides, disaccharides, and polysaccharides, like the starches, but coming from whole packages, fruits, vegetables, tubers, and other starchy vegetables, whole grains, and legumes. Please go to grab that chart. Uh, it's a very useful tool in your weight loss journey. And let me know in the comments the amount of food you eat per every meal and how much caffeine and other appetite suppressants you use on a daily basis. And if you want to work with me, I can coach you, I can uh, navigate with you, I can hold your hand and help you to lose weight once and for all without small portions. And that was a small portion for sure. Without calorie deficit, without hunger, without cravings, without caffeine. To meet your best self, to be your vibrant self, to be the healthiest version of yourself and the skinniest version of yourself without effort. So you will find links to my services in the description box below. Now, please give me a like because I deserve it and this message deserves it as well. Subscribe for more videos like this, activate the notification bell and for sure, share it with your friends, with all your social media. Everybody needs to know more about nutrition. Everybody. And lastly, if you are wondering if I was completely sedentary when I've lost the weight, please go to watch this video over here.